Last episode was the beginning of the new season where we joined Manchester City and we actually had a very good start to the episode and a bad ending to the episode because we lost 3-2 against Spurs. It was a good comeback from Manchester City. We just weren't able to hold our defence and they were able to score. It was sad, but now we move on to the match against Leicester City. But before we go into that match, we have three points available for our growth. And they're shooting all these ones do with heading and all this stuff that I don't really need right now. And okay, I start with short power. Alright, so this takes our short power to 83. Alright, and then long shots, this will take it to 78 and 82. Alright, so I guess that's good. So are we on 83 now? No, we're not. We're still on 82. So match up against Leicester City, we are still on the right wing. And I think I'm going to be staying here for the majority of our stay in um, City because they don't really have that many players on the right. So I guess I would occupy that spot for now. So let's see how we can do against our former club. All right, so we have an 8.5 match rate to get a 60% team possession rate. I mean, we're City, so that really shouldn't be a problem. And then get at least two goals or assists. All right, so I'm going to enhance... Uh, this one i guess the one in the middle oh let's see how we do in this match hopefully we get the win against our from our club all right and we are scoring of course we are of course we're pretty scoring i'm not going to celebrate though we just have to respect the team a little bit they're the team that found us and it's just it just wouldn't make sense to celebrate against them but that was a really good goal by lechenko it's looking like it's looking like we're going to be scoring um like mad in this match because that was really easy like right off the bat all right so that was a good save from zach stefan and i don't really i don't really understand why oh that, that thing is actually colored according oh my god how how do you know even get that right the, the scoreboard at the top left is actually is actually according to the team colors that is actually really cool what can happen here maybe oh that was close i was close i mean my eyes were on shoots and shoot only because i actually don't know why our team like no matter which team there is they just can't keep possession like they just keep doing the the worst possible stuff but i mean this is a good chance that is long gone right now Zaki. and then to whoever that is have no idea gusto ah oh, crap i wasn't able to to sort my feet out like fast enough right good pass from ruben diaz come on come on i, I swear to god i'm actually going to turn this thing off I keep on forgetting, but I need to turn it off because it's becoming really, really outrageous. All right. From your brother, maybe. All right, that'll be a good pass to Haaland. And please score it. Thank you so much for that. And that is the second goal for, for the match and for our team. So, I mean, it was a good run from us. We gave it to Kevin De Bruyne. It was a really good through pass from us, actually. To Kevin De Bruyne. And of course, he gave it to Haaland, and Haaland was never going to miss from there. It was quite an unexpected finish to be able to go. I expected him to go like to the other side of the keeper. I didn't expect him to go in there post like that, but I mean, it worked out, so that's what matters, basically. All right, so that's half time. We've had a really good first half. I, I can't remember what our rating is because I didn't really look at it. But we have an 8.6 rating. We have gotten over what was required of us, but I mean, we still have 45 minutes to go. Um, team possession, I don't know why the hell the team just can't like hold the ball. They don't just do that. I don't know why. But I really actually don't know why they can't just keep the freaking possession, to be honest. It's actually outrageous at this point. I don't know if that was offside or not, but that was a really good run from Machenko there. A good steal from De Bruyne. Can I find Hala maybe? Oh, I think that was offside already. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's not. Oh, that's really nice. So that's our first Holland assist. Our first Holland assist in this match. So that was a really nice pass. I just thought, I just thought I passed it a little bit too late, but it worked out perfectly. It worked out like a charm. And I just waited for it. And I, I think that was outside, but I mean, I, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining at all. That was a really good goal from Holland. And really good pass for me. From the Chenko rather. Alright, we have a free kick here and um, let's hope nothing comes of it. Um really 
Oh, that was a good save. That was a good save from Stephen. Alright, so this is now a chance for a counter attack. And uh, let's hope the ball does, in fact, get to our player. It does. And now all that's left is for a uh, crap. Really? Really? What is that skill? So. What? First of all, why is that skill so. Like, like, why did he take the ball away from him so much like that? That was like a really good chance. And now we can't. Oh. Okay, so we have the ball. Alright. I don't know why he did that. I have no idea why he did that. That was just a waste. Alright, so we're able to save the ball there. And. Let's see what we can do here, maybe. Alright, so. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it was a good try. The keeper was able to like hold it, so I mean, it was it was something. But let's see if magic can happen here. No, we cannot. And I mean, I I, I did a finish shot there. I don't know why he's shouting for us to be honest, but yeah, whatever. Now, thank you so much. That was that was a really good goal. I mean, this one isn't really that much of a celebration, though, so... I mean, I'm okay with doing it. It's not like I'm, like, jumping over the place and I'm happy that I scored. But, I mean, just go to do the no look and think. Yeah. The finish with the left foot, left foot was actually really good. Take it above the keeper. I mean, he was never going to be able to save that because it was high. Top bins, baby. Top bins. Okay, so... Holland, maybe? Please score this. Oh, my God. What the hell was that, Holland? We don't talk, don't tell me that was a Haaland like attempt on goal. Haaland maybe no you're a long one for some reason. Thank you. Oh, we're able to score with that, but that was actually really good. A really good like chance for, for our player there to get a hat trick, but I mean it's not probably not going to happen in this match, but I'm I'm completely content with two goals. Oh, please for it. Uh, I mean, that was very obvious that he was going to block. I don't know why it would still make the shots. One more chance. Left foot. All right, so that's pretty much the end. And yeah, it was a good match. We had two goals. Holland had two goals. And yeah, it was a really good match. And we have an assist. I think Holland has an assist as well. I'm not sure if he does, though. If he has still a first goal or not. But um, it's a really good start to the episode, winning four new against our former club, and yeah, I mean, we didn't really celebrate that much because we still kind of respect them for making, for making the player, even though we pretty much made ourselves and shit, but yeah. Alright, so we got the 10.0 match rating, obviously we were going to fill the team position like all day, every day, and then we got, we got two goals and one assist last three, so that's, that's really good. Alright, so next up is another really tough match, we have Liverpool away from home. And we already lost against Spurs, so this one is going to be absolutely crazy. And after the Liverpool match, we now have the matchup against Fulham. It's probably going to be a Carabao Cup match somewhere here. And then we have Norwich and Aston Villa. I probably will stop at the Chelsea match here. It's probably going to be the last match I will play for this episode. So we played really well in the last match, so of course I'm going to be training, we're going to stay in the starting 11. So like I said in the previous episode, if we don't play well, then I'm not going to do the training before a match. So this is ready. Mm -hmm actually got money from this so that is good commercial property I and mean, we don't have enough money for this but residential property that is we're supposed to pay i don't know how much we're supposed to pay but it looks like i might actually do this i don't know how much but we are we're obviously paying under 900 950 so i'm just going to do this okay it was 850 that we paid so three months our, our money should be back to us but i mean we are getting like almost a hundred thousand pounds every week so I mean the money should be coming back by itself so I'm really okay with that but this match is what is important right now we have Liverpool at the Anfield and this is going to be one hell of a match alright 7.5 match rating yeah pass success rate of at least 60% I don't know if this is my player or the whole team oh it's my player yeah and I avoid losing the match alright so that is something that we should do so let's hope that Manchester City can actually do something here I don't know why the game does doesn't just give them the, the blue kit because I mean it's Liverpool. What the hell would you use any other kits against Liverpool? Oh my god, we bought Hakimi. 
But it's crazy, but why do they keep giving me the ball, dude? But I mean, that ends up by like throwing. certainly feel the pressure from their fans. They need a good first 20 minutes. So the starting lineup for Liverpool. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside... All right, this guy is really... And leading the line today is Diogo... Please score it. Oh, my God. That was so close. All right, so can we get round Robertson? Doesn't look like so. Oh my god, why did you pass back? Why did you bother to pass back? Okay, please, immediately. And um, can we keep this? No, we can't. Oh, 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 how long? He scored it. Oh my god, what the hell was he doing? What the hell was he doing? I, I, I told him to shoot it. Well, he didn't shoot it for some reason. I mean, it was on his left foot. It was perfect. Oh, really? Ah, oh, all right. So that was a good save from Ederson. All right, Ederson, come on. No time to waste time. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How are you? Oh. Please. I mean, they're not even trying to get the ball. They're literally just standing right in front of the players. That's all they're doing. All right, so, I mean, this might be a chance for a counter. And Ederson just... I mean, the counter is gone. I mean, the time has already gone, so there's no way. Yeah, there's no way. So, it's nil-nil, half-time. No one has really done really well in this match. I mean, Haaland had the, the best freaking chance to get a win in this match, but the guy just blew it. I have no idea what he was doing, why he was taking so much time. Because who, who the hell actually does that? Why would you shoot? Well, a highly significant transfer story for us to tell you about. All right. Do I get this to Haaland? Oh, my God. Why did he pass it back? What is what is up with Haaland, guys? I swear to God, um, Liverpool have actually paid Haaland to, like, fuck up in this match. Because, I mean, it's looking like he's trying to sell the match for us. Because I don't understand why we have... I don't understand why he's actually playing like that, though. Now it's completely it's long on right now. And we still have the... Come on, why did the player run away from the ball? What the hell is this game? Please! Please score it! <sighs> oh my god. Finally. I just I just needed that one pass. And I don't know if that was Makati or if that was Alvarez, but that was a really good goal. That was a really good goal. And I kudos to whoever actually made that pass. Can't remember if it was Alvarez. But I think it was Alvarez though. And let's just hope that much City actually keep the goal or like like hold the lead because I mean they're very capable capable of it. I mean, they are very capable of it, but they've been playing absolute shit in this match, so I'm, I'm really, I'm really worried. I'm really worried. All right, so Foden, that was an insane pass. And oh my god, how do you even fuck that up? I mean, they were so... I did not call for that ball. I did not call for... Oh my god, they are literally fucking everything up. All right, that's great. So we're able to waste time there, and yeah, we got the win against Liverpool, and it was thanks to us, really, because I mean the team absolutely did shit in this match. I don't know who actually gave us that that um, assist. We we're able to save the team here. Next up, we have Fulham, and player agent great news: big step forward, and Joe was coming away. Okay, I have no idea why he would tell me that. But there's Chelsea, there's Real Madrid, there is Aston Villa, Arsenal. All right, so just those four teams. There's really not any team that I'm actually interested in leaving Man City for. I mean, I, I don't think there's any team in the world that I would actually want to do that for. Your player of the month? Interesting, okay. So we actually did have a good month. Um, get your agent to put together a press release, thanking all your fans for their messages of congratulations. Of course, I'm going to do that. And yeah, I'm actually really happy that we got player of the month. Let me look at the news thing. Hopefully, it's still there. Uh, player of the month. Levchenko's good form recognized with award. Yep, of course. We are player of the month now, and this is our first player of the month in Manchester City. We, we, we have come into the scene now, we are absolutely balling. 
and I love it. And what do you know, the space that we have here is actually not for um, any Carbao Cup or anything like that. It's actually for the international break. And the fact that we're seeing clubs here, which means that it simply just means that we got invited. We, we got called up into the squad for international for our international debut. So, man, I really can't wait. I really can't wait. But I don't think the, the game actually records on international friendly goals. Which is kind of sad but i wouldn't record it myself because that's going to be like a lot of stress i actually put that in my head but i'm actually really happy that we we are getting like our first international debut it's just our second season i mean we are we are proving that we actually deserve it spurs are actually doing really really well in the league Leeds united is quite shocking they are above us that's so weird but yeah i mean eventually we would we get above them but right now we have um Boham. i didn't really like our performance in the last match so i'm not doing any training for that one i'm just going to be jumping to result here so let's hope that the team does get a win we score and the brother gets a brace to win the match 3-1 players on international duty we have the Kilevchenko going to england i'm really happy with that all right it's match day against um qatar and um, let's look at the kit real quick all right so i win the whites and they're wearing their home jersey. Alright, so we're both wearing our home jersey. So I'm not going to play the full match because I mean it's against Qatar. I'm just going to play the full match highlights. We have Sancho, Watkins, and Lechenko up top. Then we have Galaga, Jude Bellingham, and Konsa. Oh, Bellingham is this team. That's crazy. That's crazy. Alright, so then in the defense, we have Chilwell, Tomori, John Stones, and Alexander Arnold. And we have coping goals. Let's see how we do against it against Qatar. Right? Alright, so this is my battery thing. Okay, so it's a normal thing for um what do you call it? Um, playable highlights so the reason why i'm actually playing the highlights is because it's um it's the first sorry the international friendly so i don't really think that they're really all that important and this one is from us so we can actually give sancho here if i'm not wrong and i have no idea why the hell that happened anybody Bellingham, come on now, I still got the ball. Conta got the ball, rather. All right, this is from Pope. All right, I hate those long passes so much. All right, so we have a long pass from, from England, and I have no idea who this is going for. It looks like he's going for my player. Oh, he's not. But, oh my God. This team, man, this fucking team. I don't understand. No, it's not the team, it's the highlights. It's just the freaking highlights. All right, and... We have a really good chance for our player here. Hopefully, it's not off or offside. Doesn't look like it is. And please score it. Please score it. Thank you so much. All right, so that's the first international goal. Our international debut goal. That is, I mean, this guy is absolutely insane. Like, Chengu is, like, breaking all the fucking records. Better. Okay, I don't know if he's actually broken any records, but, I mean, that's his international debut goal. It, it goal on his international debut, so that is just wild. And I... And, and I'm living for that right now. So give it to Lachenko. Can he get it? I mean, I see, I see Oli Watkins there. But I just don't know how to get the ball to him. And um, yeah, didn't work out. So we can actually defend this because it's just a one-nil lead and it's pretty fragile, basically. They have a solo run and Chilwell. Just told me that you got this. Okay. We have a counter attack that is basically gone. Oh my god, yeah, that's just stupid. But yeah, we have an England attack right now. It's basically the last attack of the game. And with Sancho. So the entire front three didn't even get subbed off. That's. I have no idea what happened there, to be honest. I, I'm so lost, but. Anyways, we still did win the match, 1-0, and we are the ones that get the goal for our team. So next up is the match against Denmark, and we are at England's home stadium right now. I mean, it's the same lineup, pretty much, but apart from Gwehi and Shaw, and Stones and Tomori are kind of like switched, so it's pretty much the same lineup, and I'm going to be playing the team highlights, and let's see how we do in this match. And don't forget, if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Drop comments down below on what you like about the series, and what series you'd like to see next, so what what path, what career path you'd like um, Lechengo to take and all that. I don't really know what to say, but like, yeah, you guys, you guys will be just too. Um, 
complete one pass if you're not raising yet one goal, obviously. The exact same thing. So let's hope that we actually get the better of the opportunities. Because last match, we actually did it. But solo run, and this is by Lechenko, right? All right, so hopefully this actually... Hopefully this actually works out. Yeah, that's great. Score it, please. And yeah. All right, so that didn't work out. Don't know how the fuck that didn't work out, but it didn't work out. I mean, it says counter-attack, but I don't feel it counter-attack. Like, what is that? Like, they aren't even running, to be honest, but I really can't believe that we actually didn't score that first goal. That was so bad. I hope that I can actually get a, a counter-attack from this. Because the game has started cheating, to be honest. It has. Counter, please. Oh my god, what the hell is that? That's just a stupid fucking goal, man. Alright, free kick for Denmark. They have another one. And yeah, I'm hoping for another counter attack here. Let's hope that's the case. This poor player in a good position. Great. Alright, crossing over to for England. We are in the 60th minute. And it's a cross over to for England. Well, that one has promise. Well cleared away. Oh my god, I don't know why it actually switched to Bellingham. That is just so st fucking stupid. Back to... Ah, oh, it's long gone now. Alright, so I mean, this match is not really looking like anything good is going to come of it. But um, we have Tammy Abraham getting ready to receive the long shot. And um, yeah, alright, that is brilliant. Brilliant goal from Tammy Abraham, and yeah, it was pretty easy, it was gifted to us, but at least we don't lose the match, and alright, so that's the end, good joy, 1-1, one, one. I don't really like the fact that we didn't score, that we didn't score in, in England, but I mean, it's still, it's still okay, we scored a nice national debut, I mean, I mean, we don't get to score every, every match. Because, yeah, that will be a really sick. And after that, we have the first uh, Champions League debut against Benfica. So, I mean, I know I said I'm going to play the match against um, Chelsea. I'm going to end it there. But I can't because, I mean, I've pretty much spent all the time already because I wasn't really planning for the international matches at all. So, we will sim the one against Norwich. It's a 1 0 draw, and that, that's really annoying because I don't know why the hell we would not be winning against Norwich. That's so fucking stupid. And I'm going to put that aside now. We have our Champions League debut right now. And yeah, it's going to be really huge. I hope that we score because we scored in our, in our um, Mar City debut. That was both the preseason and the competitive matches because we scored in the in the um, Premier League. And then we um, got a goal in our international debut. And we're looking at our Champions League debut right now. We should be able to get a goal. I don't know if we got a goal in our Leicester City debut. I really can't remember, but I think we did. History Beckons goals. I mean, they're aiming us to get 30. To be honest, so how is that history because I mean I would actually it would actually be fun to actually get past the Premier League record. I don't know why they haven't updated that to the 34 that oh it's 36. The 36 that Haaland scored. I really can't remember how many Haaland scored, but I think it's 36. Yeah, I don't know why they haven't like updated that. That's quite dumb. But we have our first match in the Champions League now against Benfica. We didn't really have a good match in the last match against Norwich, so I'm not going to be training for this. So I'm going to skip and play the match and we're going full Full team, like full 11, full starting 11 against Benfica. Because I mean, it's Champions League, I'm pretty sure that's what Pep Guardiola is actually aiming for. So, I mean, it's really nice to see that. I mean, I, mean, I think it's the first time that the entire, the best teams are actually starting, even though I wish Foding was still in the game, in the in the team right now. But I mean, it's quite shocking to see Hakimi here, but I'm okay with it basically. So, play on the Chenko, and let's see if we can get a debut goal and a debut win in our first Champions League match ever. So get an 8.5 match rating, get yeah, a cross success rate of at least 20% and copy three passes in the opponent's half. I'm going to go with the last one there. And yeah, this is first match in the Champions League. And let's hope that we can do, we can impress whoever we're impressing. And yeah. Who can he pick out? A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. Alright, so corner for Benfica, which means possible counter attack for us. And let's hope that is in fact the case. Alright, alright, Ederson, 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 oh my god. 
Take your sweet ass time. Alright, so there's Hakimi. Alright, so he actually does get, get the ball to us there. But well, that's just a dumb part. I mean, we're obviously offside. Alright, Haaland. Maybe. To Hakimi. Back to me. Score it, please. Oh my god! We are so unlucky right now. Okay. Oh, alright. So it's not our day right now. It's not our day right now because, I mean, we've had like three chances back to back. And yeah, we haven't scored any of those. But that probably was the closest. No, no, the one that hit the bar was the closest. That was, that, that would have been one hell of a goal. I really don't understand why. You play free kick and you give it to the short guy. Like, who does that? Haaland. Oh, you know where to be found? I see this score go. I was going to go out, so I, I accidentally went a bit wide there before I shot. Probably should have gone near post, but. Alright, so I have no idea what the hell is going on. But I need. Alright, that's great. That's great. I mean, once in Hollywood scores, I really don't have a problem with it. I mean, I don't have a problem if anybody scores. I don't know why I said that, but I mean, I just really like the way Holland goes. Alright, so that's half time. And I'm, I mean, I mean, the referee just like leave the ball first, like make a very good counter attack or something like that. But it's been a very good start to the match. I mean, we've had a lot of chances, like just on our own. Our player alone has had a lot of chances. And I hope that we can actually get that 8.5 match rating. Cross success rate of at least 20%. I, mean, I think I need just one cross to actually do that. One, one cross that actually works out. So, I mean, I, re I really don't care about the objective, but I mean, I'm just going to like keep this in mind just in case I have the chance to. I swear to God, it would be so sad if I actually don't score my Navy goal. I want to score it. I really want to score it. Okay, does this get to me? Yes, it should. Should. Well, I'm just going to give it to Haaland instead. Well, that was just a better thing to do there. Yeah, I just had to. I, I just had to not be staging there, and yeah. The pace of that cross, there. The pace of that cross. I mean, I just had to sacrifice. Because, I mean, I probably wouldn't have gone, got it past all those defenders to, like, get a goal. So, I mean, the, the, the sensible thing to do was just to give it to Haaland. And, I mean, it worked out. 2-0. And we have a 9 point rating with that, even though we don't get a goal. But we have the David Chamberlain League assist. And, yeah, it's not really as, as special, but, I mean, it's still something that we were able to pull off. And also, let's hope that we, we can still actually have time for a goal. Okay, so it looks like we are scoring our goal here. It looks like we are scoring our goal here. Come on. Very good. There you fucking go. Haha. <laughs> so we have a Champions League game we go and a Champions League assist. Oh, I love that so much. 3 0 to Manchester City, and I'm just happy that we're able to get an assist and a goal in this match. So, I mean. I mean, with the fact that we actually assisted Haaland, I mean, we're very selfish. I mean, the universe just saw our good heart and, you know, gives us a goal. Grealish. And... Alright, so, I mean, the ball is still in play. Still in play. Good, good work on Bernardo Silva. I have no idea what the fuck he did there. Alright, so, quickly uh, time. Oh, um, we're being subbed out. Alright, so, that's good. The lap is probably in for us. And I mean, it's, it's been a really, really good match that we played just now. I don't know why this is not showing. Probably a bug or something like that. Most definitely a bug. I'm simulating the rest of the match to see how we actually do end up. 3-1, they actually do score the 87th minute, so we lose our clean sheets. Even though that's not really my concern, basically. But it's, it's been a good match. It was a really good match. We actually got all of our objectives. Yeah, the crossing thing, it's 100% because we got one and they actually hit Haaland's head and he went into the post. So, yeah. 
So we got all of our objectives and that is really good. We had a really, really good match. 10.0 match rating at that. So obviously we're the man of the match there. But anyway, that's all the matches that we're playing for the episode. Really enjoyed the game today and seeing you enjoy your football, it's a time to focus on the positive. All right, so read a book about your favorite footballer. All right, I'm just going to do that. And then how much performance. Thank you all your fans, blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, it's the team effort, the team effort because I mean, it, the team really, really worked hard for that. We have Aston Villa up next and we have a Carabao Cup match before we have the Chelsea match. So I'm just going to simulate these two matches and let's see how, how it turned out for us. The match against Aston Villa ends 2-0. We score and the Broida scores to close the match. And the match against Mansfield Town ends 2-2 and the one or two penalties. So that is the greatest shit I have ever seen in my life right now. British and Holland score. They, they equalize in the 83rd minute and they go on and win it in penalties. So we missed a penalty. How long misses a penalty? All right. So, yeah, that's sad that we're out of the Carabao Cup. So, that says no Carabao Cup trophy for us this year. And yeah, that sucks really. So, we're at the end of the episode and we are one, two points behind West Ham. That's actually a pretty shocking table right there. Because, I mean, why the hell is West Ham on top? And then where are the other teams in the league? There's us, Spurs and Arsenal are 6th and 7th. Liverpool is 10th. Manchester United is 11th. Or Chelsea. Chelsea is in the relegation zone. Alright, so that's crazy. That is really freaking crazy, to be honest. As for our contract, we have the appearances pretty much done and dusted already. I don't think we're ever going to get below 37. Then successful crosses, we are on 4 with that. And we have to get 35. Well, I think that um thing, before the end i think that is like a somewhere that we can actually reach before so that we can actually um get the contract come on wrong then the 10 out of 22 goals we have where we're definitely going to get up to 22 goals this season and then matches one optional that's six and then header passes we, we already have nine out of 50 so we're definitely going to get all of that apart from i mean the only thing that i'm actually worried about is the successful crosses but i think i'm good actually I think we should be able to get there by the end of the season. We have 50 goals to our name in just 60 appearances. That's insane. We have 40 wins, 10 draws, and 10 losses. That's actually that's actually really, really good start. We have 14 assists to our name at that. And yeah, we are doing really well. But yeah, this is the end of the episode. If you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share it to your friends. And also comment down below what you would like to see in the series in the future. Maybe if you guys would like what clubs you guys would want me to go to to end up in like during the course of the season. I'm, I'm, I'm going to stay in Manchester City for a long time. But I just want to know what team you guys would like let Chelsea to go to in the series and all. So thank you for watching once again and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. I see you rolling up over black Cadillac, high heel boots and a sexy body for the tats. Baby's bad, oh baby's had a bad. After her there ain't no coming back. Wanna take a run at that. I think she's feeling me.